Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ever wanted to try out Linux Mint, but you don't have a spare USB drive to make a bootable installer? Or maybe your USB ports are acting up? Well, today I'm going to show you a brilliant method to install Linux Mint directly from a partition on your own hard drive, creating a perfect dual boot system with Windows 11 all in UEFI mode. And the best part, no USB needed. Let's get started. First, we need to shrink our Windows partition to make room for Linux. Search for Disk Management from the search menu and open Disk Management. First, create a partition of at least 8 gigabytes, which we'll use as a virtual flash drive. Give it a drive letter and make sure to format it as FAT32. Do not format it using NTFS. We now need to shrink our Windows partition to make room for Linux Mint. Enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes box. You need to think about how much space you want for Linux. For a comfortable setup with room for programs, I recommend at least 30,000 megabytes, which is 30 gigabytes. If you can do more, like 50 or 60 gigabytes, even better, what you'll need, a Windows 11 PC with UEFI firmware, which almost all modern PCs able to run Windows 11 have, the Linux Mint ISO file. Head over to the official Linux Mint website and download the latest ISO file. I'll leave the link in the description below. Choose the edition you want. Usually, the Cinnamon edition is the most popular. While Linux Mint e is downloading, head over to pendrivelinux.com and grab the universal USB installer tool. It's a lightweight .exe file that runs without installation. Make sure to download an older version since the latest one only detects USB drives and doesn't let you choose partitions. Now, here's the clever part. Select a Linux distribution. Scroll down and find Linux Mint. Then browse to the Linux Mint ISO file you just downloaded. Now, step three is the most important part. We are not using a USB drive. Look at the drop-down menu. Instead of choosing a USB stick, select the 8 gigabyte partition you created earlier. The tool will format this partition so any data on it will be erased. Make sure the partition you choose is empty or contains nothing important. Leave the persistence option at zero. Click Create it will warn you that it's about to format the drive. Click Yes. It will now extract the ISO onto that partition and make it bootable. 
This will take a few minutes. All right, the installer is ready on our hard drive partition. Now we need to boot from it. Restart your computer and hammer the key to get into your UEFI slash BIOS firmware settings. This is usually F2, F9, escape, delete, or F12. Once in your UEFI, uh, do two things. First, ensure secure boot is disabled. It's often under security or boot tabs. Second, we need to find the boot from file option. This option is a lifesaver. It's sometimes hidden in the boot menu. Look for what says UUI. Your computer will now boot directly into the Linux Mint live environment from your hard drive. How cool is that? Awesome, we're in the live Mint desktop. Double click install Linux Mint to start the installer. Go through the language, keyboard layout, and connectivity steps. Select the free space you created earlier and click on the plus sign. The rest of the installation is straightforward. Once the installation is complete, click Restart Now. The computer will reboot. This time, it should automatically boot into the Grub Boot menu. You'll see options to boot into Linux Mint and Linux Mint's recovery mode. And importantly, an option for Windows Boot Manager. This means your dual boot is working perfectly. You can now choose which operating system you want to use every time you start your PC. And that's it. You've successfully installed Linux Mint without ever needing a USB stick. Your Windows 11 installation is intact and you have a fully functional dual boot system. If this guide helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more Linux and tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.